Yeah, Kazen. So, here we are, the biological age. I hear what you say. What are you, uh, what are you smoking? What are you taking? You're on opioids, Nick. You know, what's going on? How can you say that? Well, I'm going to tell you, right? So, one of the things that um, occurs to me is the power of the human condition, biology. And what's starting to come out is that we we found out that cells in our biology sort of know what to do. You just have to signal them. And if you think about what happens in creation of life, is you have a blueprint, which DNA, okay, it's one of the blueprints in a sense, it's the main one. And it defines what what goes on, and you know it. There's an instruction set that goes to cells, and cells know what to do to create bone, hair, muscle, eyes, tissue, you name it. So there's the thing there. There's the big clue, and it's another one of these big um, false narratives, really. That I think the COVID exposed the fact that the pharmaceutical industry prefer to keep us ill and unwell along with the food industry which has been poisoning us for ages along with the water industry which um, put things in our water and goodness knows what else comes out of the sky and uh, goodness knows what else they're going to do to us next but have you ever thought about the fact that you know it's all part of a distraction isn't it to 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 stop us exploring and thinking about what um, what the human condition is really capable of. So, so here's a few thoughts for you, right? It's not only possible to slow aging down, for example, which is the number one thing that everyone thinks about. How long have I got? How long am I going to live? What condition am I going to get next? But it's now coming out that you can slow down and even reverse aging in lots of different ways and it's just not you know mad crazy people there are a few out there of course but actually there's a lot of scientific evidence to show that there's some real stuff going on but then when you dig deeper and we talk about other other things going on you know we're already playing around with transhumanism as we we merge with technology so you know implants uh non-invasive procedures there's a whole range of different new new advances treatments cures and that's fine but also there's a whole new narrative around prevention isn't there and prevention is about what can i do to change my lifestyle to nudge my lifestyle to keep my body healthier so i don't deliver the or I don't end up with these conditions. So, you know, the prime example, of course, is reduce your sugar in your diet because the more sugar you have, the more inflammation and therefore you're going to run the risk of getting diabetes. And I've lost two friends in the last couple of years to diabetes and it's, uh, it's brutal. So, so when you peel back the layers, it's, um, it's obvious, isn't it? But I mean, habits and humans, we're all different different but we're all wired the same it's very difficult to break a habit it's all very different to difficult to break a craving isn't it but at the end of the day the mist is uh the mist is lifting we can see now the false narrative is obvious and we have entered the biological age and that's what i'm going to talk about next talk soon